Hey everyone, Matron here, bringing you another StarCraft 2 commentary. This time, Game 2 in the best of three series between Demaga and Ducklode Ra or White Ra. White Ra did lose the first game to Demaga as Demaga used Zergling and Mutalisk pressure. White Ra just did not have enough warp gates up to counter the massive amounts of Mutalisks and Zerglings that Demaga was able to output. So, we'll see whether on a shorter map here, White Rot is able to limit the macro advantage of the Zerg player, try to keep him on fewer bases. We saw a large uh, ground distance in the Metalopolis map in Game 1. It's really able to give Demaga plenty of freedom to really macro up. He defensed really hard at the start with those spine crawlers and forced away White Rot's initial 4 gate attack. So we'll see what kind of strategies these two players employ as White Rot tries to even up the series and force a game three. White Rot was able to deny the expansion from Demaga at the very start. As we see, a, an 11 gateway go down, so a little bit early for a gateway. And now this probe moves out, going to try to deny the expansion. Demaga has been doing a 15 or attempting a 15 hatch. You wonder if you could cut a, uh, a drone and maybe try for an earlier hatch, but it looks like he's going to go for a pool gas instead, so perhaps some early speedlings. We'll see if White Ra uh, comes down here. He's not going to throw down the pylon quite yet, as he does not see any sort of uh, drone coming out. Demaga could bring a drone out and force the pylon to go down and finish. It'd be a waste of about 100 minerals for White Ra. Instead, we see this probe just dancing back and forth on a patrol, denying that expansion. And I'm sure White Rob will keep an eye on that and make sure that he uh, tries to deny the hatchery as long as possible. Be interested to see what the second building is for White Rob, whether he goes for two gate pressure, perhaps a cybernetic score. Should be coming momentarily. There's the cybernetic score. Not much of a wall off here. It's going to be a little bit wider than we're used to seeing on a lot of these maps. So the placement of this pylon perhaps a little bit too close to the ramp there as Zerglings are going to be able to run by a single zealot. He's going to have to have at least two, maybe even three zealots to block this off. So these speedlings from Demaga, if that's what he chooses to do and it looks like he's getting the metabolic boost, could be quite effective against the wall off of the uh, of the Protoss player White Ra. Looks like we had a pause from the uh, the observer there. So Demago was able to get down this hatchery, and now pushing out with a little bit of uh, one zergling, just a scout. And it looks like what, uh, White Rod does realize that this zealot's not going to be able to block this entire choke by himself. So he was trying to find the best position to intercept this zergling, see if the zergling is able to uh, to see whether this run by is possible. Another issue is perhaps White Rob wanted to have a larger choke this time to make it easier to move stalkers from one base to another, as Mutalisk Harass is very effective on this on this map. The two bases are quite close by air, but you have to go down this ramp, and I know personally if I have a small choke as Protoss, it's hard to fit these stalkers by single file. So maybe a little bit of a, a planned opening uh, larger choke here just to let the stalkers out so they can deal with the Mutalisks a little bit better. We'll see how it plays out for both players. As the Manga speed has finished, see the wings pop up on these Zerglings. And another 12 Zerglings coming for Demaga. So it looks like we're going to have some early Zergling pressure. As the wall of has completed with the Stalker and Zealot now, another Stalker in the back. We have Warp Gate Tech being kerned out now, and three gateways down for White Rock. Preparing another pylon, make sure that he's never going to be psi capped. And Duckload Ra's got to be very careful he does not open up this this choke for a run by. As we see all these Zerglings coming up, another 14 12 in production. We see 29 Zerglings on the field right now, another 12, so we'll have well over 40 as soon as these come in. Not sure if we'll see a Baneling nest, perhaps. It looks like Duckload Ra has thrown down this expansion, so he's going to be quite vulnerable to a run by and attack. He does not know about all these Zerglings from the uh, from Demaga, as they're all hidden on this left side. 
Again, throwing down that pylon on the ramp, going to make a smaller choke. He can force field here and block it off entirely. Looks like Demaga poking in with just a few zerglings. Does not want to give away his position to the other zerglings, so you're going to retreat to the south with these few. Now if he can do a two-prong attack, pull that army to the south a little bit. So you see he's going to do a suicide there and come in from the back. Some great shields from White Rot. Oh my gosh, those shields are perfect. They're going to shut out the zerglings entirely, especially with this gateway here. A great choke set up, and these stalkers are just going to be able to push at these zerglings. Another shield going up, limiting the surface area of these stalkers. Again, they're quite large. They can get a, a good surround from those zerglings. But those force fields doing a great job. Those opening three just deny that pressure from the zerglings, and all those zerglings go down. So Demaga has been thwarted that initial zergling pressure. We have another 24 zerglings coming. At some point, Damaga needs to drone up. See, he's on 16 drones, so he's pretty much all in with this uh, zergling attack. He does not yet have up a Baneling's Nest, so he's got no next move right now. White Rot has quite the income advantage, 31 Harvesters to 16, and if White Rot is just able to avoid some sort of catastrophic collapse here, he is going to win this game. Damaga sort of all in with those zerglings. Very surprising move. Surprised he not, did not do a run by when those force fields went down. He just sort of stood there for a while, took some pot shots from those stalkers, and then backed up and came in again. But some great force fields. I cannot emphasize that enough. Protected all the stalkers there. They would have gone down to this 40 some zerglings. As we see, even more zerglings come in. 52 zerglings total. White Rod now moving across the field, going to see these Zerglings. As the Zerglings are split all over the field, they're going to come in, try to surround on these uh, these Protoss us units. Again, some great force fields really protecting these Stalkers from the Zerglings. And the Zergling count goes down by about 20 there. It's only 30 Zerglings on the field right now, and White Rod is pushing his advantage. He knows his opponent can't have that many drones, can't have a good economy with all these Zerglings. If we look at the units lost tab, 2,083 units lost, almost all Zerglings for Damaga. Now White Rod's pushing ahead, going to throw down a forward pylon, and this is going to have to be GG as he does take down all of these Zerglings here. Some great force fields, again, really limiting the surface area on his army here. The Zerglings cannot get us around, and these Stalkers are just picking off the weak Zerglings. Damaga has to GG, he gives a smiley face, and I know he really wanted to take that game. Tried a bit of a cheese and all in with those Zerglings, did not have much of an economy at all not many drones, and now we will go to a game three, the deciding final game of this best of three series, as both players looking to move on and face next genius in the loser's bracket final. The winner of that will face loner in the winner's bracket, uh, or who won the winner's bracket in the grand final. So a lot at stake for these players as we move on to game three. I'm about to cast it, and I'll see you there.